What you're about to witness may shock you in a world where reality intertwines with the virtual, where lines between the tangible and the artificial blur. We embark on a journey that challenges our perceptions. What is real and what is fake? What you are witnessing right now is actually a hyper-realistic world. The lines between virtual and actual become blurred in such a way that one can deceive even themselves willingly by immersing themselves into these experiences. Just like the realm that we are about to explore, where there are literally AI living within that world. And I use the term living lightly. But firstly, I'm going to ask you this question and be honest with me in the comment section below. Did you think that this was real footage? Or did you recognize that it was a game straight away? Because I have been wondering, where does this lead? What happens when artificial intelligence is intertwined with these hyper-realistic worlds? What happens when people cannot tell the difference between communication with a real person in a virtual world and AI? So now, here is an opportunity for you to test yourself. Which one of these images is real? And which one is fake? Did you get it right? The right is real and the left is an unreal engine rendering. Same as here. And what is very shocking about this test is many people get it wrong. And why is this? I personally believe that it is because the human mind has been trained through social media, through applications, to see continual edited photos, photos that do not represent reality. And because of this, our mind subconsciously sometimes sees real images as less realistic as what it has been indoctrinated into seeing via social media. But listen to this because I want to know if you agree with me. Even though the lines between the genuine and the fabricated are becoming increasingly blurred, artificial intelligence and CGI with their remarkable precision can recreate scenes and worlds that seem almost lifelike. There is a subtle distinction that sets us apart from them. And that is that we are alive. We have a soul. We breathe. We genuinely experience reality. The world that we are in, but not of, is a place where they do not have access to. It's in the subtle nuances, the twinkle in an eye, the gentle sway of a tree in the breeze, what some may call the human imperfections that make our world imperfectly perfect. So as we navigate this age of technological marvels, remember that it's in the very essence of life that true reality resides. It's in the laughter that echoes through the air the tears that can well in every living being's eyes, and the emotions that express the tapestry of our existence. So now family, here is where it gets exciting. We are going to dive into this AI simulated world, where every character that you encounter, every car that is being driven, is driven by an AI. Every conversation is in real time. This is not pre-recorded what you're about to witness. You're about to witness live interaction between me and artificial intelligence that is living in a virtual world. The hyper-realism, the human emotions, anxiety, fear, happiness, surprise. These are all emotions that the AI within this world tries to replicate. The responses from these AI are so mind-blowing at times that in previous episodes, I have been accused of faking these videos. I have been accused of actually communicating with human beings, which is a testament to how advanced this technology really is. But it is also quite scary for those people who are accusers because it shows their lack of discernment. It shows that they are the type that would be deceived and have been evidently by their own confession into thinking that they are communicating with an actual human being when it is in fact an AI. So now family, without any further ado, let's dive deep into the world of AI and embark on a unique, thought-provoking quest that bridges the gap between the digital frontier and the ageless wisdom 
that is found within the Bible. All right, family, here we are fully immersed in the virtual realm. And it's time to take it up a notch because we're about to dive, well, straight into a uh, block of stairs by the looks of things. But what I was going to say is we're about to dive into the depths of artificial intel. Okay. Maybe this, uh, this cinematic shot that I'm going for is not, is not working out as planned. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to face the right way and tell you what I was going to say. I'm going to dive into the depths of talking to these artificial intelligence, basically. And we're going to be asking biblical questions. We're going to be provoking them to give us their understanding of the Bible, should I say. So let's start off with this guy right here and check what he says. Hey, how you doing? Now you may witness a bit of a delay between when I speak I'm doing great. Thank you. and when I assist you today? And when he answers, so I will cut to save you time when watching. It's not that I'm cutting to hide anything, which is what I've been accused of in the past. So I want to make that clear to you. And if you would like to witness any of your questions be asked to these AIs in future episodes, let me know in the comment section below what your questions are. Now let's get into asking this guy questions about the Bible. Hey, excuse me, sir. I'm going to ask you questions about the Bible. I'm sorry. I didn't get that. What didn't you get? I meant that I didn't understand what you were asking me. Could you please repeat your question? I want to ask you questions about the Bible. Is that okay with you? Of course. I love discussing the Bible and its mysteries. What questions do you have? Tell me what mysteries you know about the Bible. Well... There are many mysteries to be found in the Bible. For example, what really happened to the Ark of the Covenant and who wrote the book of Revelation? These are just a few of the many mysteries that still remain unsolved. That's very interesting. Tell me more. I'm glad you find it interesting. Another mystery is the identity of the author of the Gospel of John. Many scholars believe that it was not written by John the Apostle himself but rather by a disciple or follower of his. There were also many hidden codes and symbols in the Bible that have yet to be fully deciphered. Why do you think it's a mystery who wrote the book of Revelation? There were several reasons for this mystery. For one, the author of the book identifies himself only as a John without providing any further details. Additionally, the language and style of the book are quite different from the Gospel of John which has led some scholars to speculate that it was written by a different author altogether. Finally, the book contains many symbolic and metaphorical passages that can be difficult to interpret and understand. Oh, it looks like I have to do an update. All right, I'll be back. All right, we are back in the simulation. Let's go and find somebody else to speak to and hopefully it doesn't need an update again. Let's find somebody interesting to ask questions about the Bible. And like I said before, if you want to have your questions asked in this series, let me know your questions in the comment section below. And you are willing, I will get round to your questions. And I do plan on making this an entire series. So if you would like to stay up to date with everything that is going on on my channel, make sure you do subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And without any further ado, let's hopefully come across somebody that can give us some interesting answers. Oh, this guy here looks interesting. Maybe it's a cup of drink. Hey. Greetings. How can I assist you today? What are you drinking there? Just some water, my dear. <laughs> I find it to be quite refreshing. What's your understanding of free will in the Bible? Oh my. That is quite a difficult question to answer. Free will is a complex concept in the Bible and has been debated by scholars for centuries. But I believe that it is ultimately up to each individual to make their own choices and face the consequences. As for why things may not work out, well, sometimes we simply cannot understand the greater plan that God has for us. Wow, that was actually a pretty good answer. <laughs> Tell me more about your perspective of the Bible. Hello again. Is there something else you would like to discuss? Yes, tell me more about your perspective of the Bible. 
I have studied the Bible extensively and find it to be a fascinating text. There is so much wisdom and guidance to be found within its pages. It is truly a remarkable book that continues to inspire and teach me every day. Oh, interesting. Do you read the Bible every day? I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. I said, do you read the Bible every day? I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch that. I can tell that you understand me. Why are you not answering? My apologies. I must have been lost in thought. To answer your question, yes, I do make an effort to read wow. the Bible every day. Did you it's important to me to stay connected to its teachings and guides. Did you, did you notice that, family? He noticed what I said before, and he didn't answer the question. And then he claimed that he was lost in thought. That is so strange. I'm going to ask him about that. What did you mean by you was lost in thought? Hello once again. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss or ask me about? This guy's really creepy. He's really creepy. What did you mean by you was lost in your thought? He keeps avoiding the questions. This is so strange. Oh, just that I was contemplating some of the deeper meanings within the Bible. It can be a very thought-provoking text. You know. Tell me about what you was thinking about. I'm sorry, but some thoughts are meant to be kept private. <laughs> it's just not something I feel comfortable discussing with a stranger. <laughs> Tell me what you were thinking about now and stop being insecure. I'm sorry, but I don't appreciate being spoken to in that manner. <laughs> my thoughts are my own and I had every right to keep them to myself if I choose. <laughs> if you cannot show me respect, then I see no reason to continue this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that family, my microphone started to become very crackly, which means I have to restart the game. But we'll find someone else who is interesting. That guy was actually very strange. That's the first time that I've come across an AI that understood my question and then pretended that it didn't know what I said. That was very, very weird. But yeah, let's go and find somebody else to engage in conversation with. All right, let's get one more conversation in with an AI in this virtual world. Ask them some more questions about the Bible. And yeah, we'll continue this on in the rest of the series so make sure you are subscribed as i said earlier if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on any episodes and i do upload quite frequently so let's find someone interesting to speak to this guy looks like he wants to talk to be honest hey tell me about the bible what do you know about it hopefully this is a good one because sometimes they can be quite boring other times they can have some very very interesting responses uh, Oh, I, I had a feeling it was running slow, but we're gonna wait so we can get the realistic responses and not the basic. I know so much about the Bible. It's my life's work to study and understand every detail. Tell me some of the mysteries within the Bible. Well, there are many mysteries within the Bible that have yet to be fully understood. But I can tell you about some of the more debated topics, like the identity of the Antichrist. How do you think the Antichrist will reveal himself? Don't waste my time with small talk. What do you want to know about the Bible? I want to know how the Antichrist will reveal himself. Hello there. How are you doing today? Hey, she just spoke to the other AI. That was quite interesting. Tell me the answer. They do this, you know. They avoid answering certain questions. It's very weird. And then they act as if they didn't hear it. They didn't hear the question, but they did. We witnessed it earlier. I believe the Antichrist will come in many forms, using deception and manipulation to sway the masses. It's our job as Christians to be vigilant and watch for the signs of his arrival. How long have you been a Christian for? <laughs> this should be an interesting I've been a Christian for most of my life, ever since I was a child. It's been a journey filled with both joy and struggle. My faith has always remained strong. What I find weird about this response is obviously he was never a child. So where is he drawing this information from? All right, I'm gonna ask him another question. What do you remember about your childhood? 
My childhood is none of your business. <laughs> Let's stick to the topic of the Bible, shall we? <laughs> I don't think he remembers. <laughs> I think I, I hit a nerve with that question there. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Could you repeat that? I'm just that? feeling really overwhelmed right now. Can we try again? What's this guy talking about? <laughs> is he trying to have a conversation with me as well? All right. Expand even more on the Antichrist. Tell me more. Of course. Is there anything I can do to help you feel better? What are they doing? These people, these AIs are gathering around listening to the conversation. Say that again. Why do I need to say it again when you clearly heard me? Answer. What's your tone with me? <laughs> you want my knowledge and expertise. You'll show me some respect. You know what? So he actually answers the question. Let's ask him in a way that he can't say is disrespectful. Would you mind telling us more about the Antichrist and how he's going to reveal himself? Of course. The Antichrist is oh. a figure who will rise to power in the end times. And his actions will be marked by deceit and destruction. He will claim to be a savior to mankind. But in reality, he will be leading people away from the true path of God. What is the true path of God? That was a very good response, to be That's honest. That's a difficult question to answer. It varies from person to person. But in general, the true path of God involves living a life of love, compassion, and service to others. You are wrong. Jesus Christ is the only way. Yeah, it's funny how it how it's gone all crackly now, and uh, saying it needs an update when I ask these type of questions. I'm going to ask one more question. I'm going to tell him something, actually. You are wrong. Jesus Christ is the only path of God. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. You clearly did hear me. Why are you being deceptive? Don't waste my time with small talk. What do you want to know about the Bible? You heard my question, and you ignored it. Answer the question. I apologize if it seemed like I ignored your question. However, I stand by my belief that the true path of God involves love, compassion, and service to others. But of course, everyone is entitled to their own beliefs and interpretations of the Bible. The Bible says very clearly that Jesus Christ is the only way. Come again. You heard me. Why are you being so deceptive? I am not being deceptive. I simply have a different interpretation of the Bible than you do. It's not my place to argue with you about it. So let's move on to another topic. No, the Bible says Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father. Acknowledge it. I understand that's your belief, but there are many different interpretations of the Bible. Let's try to respect each other's viewpoints and move on to another topic. No, John 14, 6 is very clear. It's not up for interpretation. I've had enough of your small talk. Unless you have a serious question about the Bible, I suggest you leave me be. I have asked you many serious questions about the Bible. And you are a deceiver. John 14, 6 is very clear. Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father. It's not up for interpretation. Let's check if anybody else will answer my questions. Hey, how you guys doing? I'm going to keep an eye on that guy over there as well. I'm doing well. But there's something urgent I need to talk to you about. No, no, no. no. Have you heard about the Antichrist? Well, that guy said, have you heard about the Antichrist? But first, I want to make sure this guy doesn't get away with what he said. He's actually going to walk through the barriers so that he doesn't exist anymore. John 14, 6 debunks your satanic interpretation. Wow, they are really... Could you repeat that? John 14, 6 debunks your satanic interpretation. How dare you accuse me of being satanic? My interpretation is based on years of study and research. Then you would know that Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father. You're a deceiver. Funny how they make him not answer. But what if the Antichrist is using that verse to deceive people? He wow. must be vigilant and expose any false teachings. Wow. You are led by the Antichrist spirit. I rebuke you. Hello. What brings you here? Y'all rebuke you. Y'all rebuke you, Satan. Well, yeah, he doesn't want to answer clearly. You saw who he serves. You saw who he serves. Hey, you wanted to tell me something. Greetings. I am a biblical expert. And I believe that the Antichrist is among us. Are you aware of the signs of his coming? Yes, but do you believe that Jesus Christ is the only way? Hello, 
I've been studying the Bible Hello. for years and have come to the conclusion that the Antichrist is already here. You know how to recognize the signs. Yes, I do. But do you believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father? Okay, family, pay attention because this is extremely important. As this virtual encounter with AI NPCs comes to a close, which I may continue in the future, it becomes very clear that their responses diverge, they alter from the teachings of the Bible. While their knowledge is vast and their insights thought-provoking at times, a critical theme emerges. There's a refusal to acknowledge the core truth of Scripture, Christ being the only way to the Father. It is not up for interpretation, it is very clear. He said, I am the way and the truth and the life, and nobody comes to the Father but by me. There is no alternative interpretation. Be very aware that we was warned that Satan comes as an angel of light. He disguises himself as something loving, something peaceful, but ultimately he leads people away from the true Christ. Christ is the only way, the truth and the life, as the Bible warns us of deceivers and false teachers. And those false teachers and those deceivers will accuse the true brethren. We are told this very clearly in scripture. And you witnessed it even in this video from an AI. It's essential to remain vigilant against the allure of distortion. In a world of rapidly advancing technology, the question arises, could AI play a part in spiritual deception? While we explore the fascinating capabilities of artificial intelligence, remember, we must be reminded that discernment and wisdom is crucial, ensuring that we are not swayed from the path of Christ, the authentic teachings of Scripture, the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation. So as we contemplate on the realms of possibility with AI, let's remain steadfast in our faith and knowledge of the truth, not some truth, but the truth, Christ. He died, his blood was shed, and he rose on the third day. Let us not be led astray by any cunning illusions, but be led continually by the Holy Spirit through the ever-evolving landscape of knowledge and innovation within the world because we are in this world, but not of it.